Oceans are our future. They're the beating heart of the planet, regulating everything from crops to climate to providing us with every second breath we breathe. Superyachts promise to reframe what a floating research laboratory can achieve. The capabilities that our scientists will have at their disposal are exceptional. Artificial intelligence, robotics, machine learning, and real-time data processing. It will also have the latest quantum computer on board, the first to take to the high seas. But what is a super yacht? A super yacht or mega yacht is a large luxury cruise ship. There's no official or agreed definition of this type of yacht, but these terms are usually used to describe motor or sailing yachts with professional crews ranging in length from 40 meters to 180 meters and sometimes include yachts of the same size. But what about a nuclear powered super yacht? Does it exist? Of course. It's no longer science fiction from the movies and scientists are ready to save the world with the help of this yacht. In a few minutes, you'll see what it's all about. Welcome back to the Future Lore Channel. We're glad to be together again. Today we're talking about the new super yacht, the world's first nuclear powered yacht and its purpose to the world. Before we sail into the oceans and spend the day on the deck of the yacht, try to subscribe to our channel and press the bell so you don't miss more videos like this. Once you've done this, we're ready to start. The ship was designed by the international company Itis Yachts under the direction of naval architect Ivan Salas Jefferson. This bold new concept, comfortable in a futuristic style, provides a modern form with abbreviated terms and optimized shapes. The Polish naval architecture company NED has collaborated with Itis Yachts to complete the otherworldly design of the Earth 300 which has a geometric pattern extending towards the bow. However, the most striking feature of the craft is that its scientific field is tailored to the Earth, poetically speaking. Scientists will work hard to protect this field. It contains a 13-story science city where some famous climate researchers in the world work together to develop new climate solutions using the latest ocean technology. Other features include an observation deck, which looks elegant on top of the ship, with 46 meter long beams and an apron. The ship will also carry many modern underwater vehicles for underwater exploration. In an interview, Aaron Oliver, CEO of Earth 300, said that this ship will have the characteristics of a cruise, expedition, exploration, and luxury yacht, but it will not have any characteristics. What about Earth 300 technology? While well, the super yacht powered by the core uses electricity from the molten salt reactor on board, which is based on the technology of the nuclear innovation company TerraPower, founded by Bill Gates. This is the first time that a quantum computer and molten salt reactor have been installed on a ship. This ship will be built as a floating computer, and the construction cost will reach a staggering 35 to 500 million pounds. The world's first nuclear-powered atomic superyacht, Earth 300, spans 984 feet and is impressive, making it larger than the Titanic. The craft is close to four figures belonging to some of the largest ships in the world. Most of it will be used with scientific equipment instead of being recorded by a group of climate scientists. The combination of embedded sensors, artificial intelligence, robotics, machine learning, and real-time computing will help understand data and the world's first commercial ocean quantum computer. All the information they will get from the research will be open source and shared with other climate researchers as part of the mission of bringing science and research together to solve some of the world's biggest problems. According to the official website of Earth 300, the ship is expected to be delivered in 2025 and will serve up to 160 scientists from different disciplines at the same time. There will also be 20 students, 165 crew members, and 40 VIP guests in attendance. And the ticket cost will be $3 million. The Earth 300 project, led by CEO Oliver, is supported by various partners including IBM, Triton Submarines, IOS Expeditions, and RENA, which are the world's leading classification societies in the cruise industry. After completing the preliminary design and ship design of the Earth 300, all they have to do is wait for the estimated launch date of the Earth 300 in 2025. One of the important questions is, will Earth 300 be a one-off or just the first in a series of vessels? At present, we only have one vessel in development. Of course, as we progress, we may add more and build a fleet, was Itis Yacht's reply. 
It's not impossible to imagine a tech billionaire like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos being the first customer. There's a chance this super yacht could be like the first Tesla cars, high-end super vehicles that build technological expertise and brand awareness for the more economic models to follow. It could be the first step to decarbonizing shipping, one of the most polluting industries out there. Just imagine that this idea takes off and then in the future, all ships and yachts are nuclear powered. That would be great. The oceans would recover, the air quality as well, and the living world in the water would be even more diverse. Because Earth 300 is meant to be a world-leading research vessel, it aims to offer live feed videos and interactive activities which can be accessed by people sitting in front of their PCs at home. It will also be used as a repository for data and information about planet Earth, a sort of floating bank of information and experiments, all of which are, again, aimed at helping us understand our planet and universe just a tad better. Earth 300 was conceived as a catalyst to inspire an era of ecological imagination, an era that places our ecosystems firmly and unequivocally above our economic systems, an era that positions scientists who work with facts and not politics as the ultimate authority, and an era that fosters and fuels the younger generations to become the founders and makers of our future world. It is by acting together collectively, leaving no one out, that we can achieve breakthroughs and bring the right solutions quickly to market, ensuring the survival of humanity for generations to come. So what is your opinion about this super yacht? Would you travel on this ship and save the world? The life of a scientist is very interesting, so you won't regret it if you board this yacht and sail the oceans. Please write your comments in the comments section below and tell us your opinion. Also, drop us a like and subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notification if you'd like to be notified when a new video is ready. Thanks for watching the video and see you again soon.